Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, July 22nd. A man was stabbed in the arm today just before 12.30 p.m. at the intersection of Kala Way and Dalton Drive in Canyon Country. The man was stabbed with a knife, but his injury was not serious. The suspect is a male Hispanic in his early 20s, last seen wearing a white t-shirt. Sheriff's officials have not yet caught the suspect and are still investigating the incident. Coroner's officials have determined the cause of death for a man struck by a Metrolink train earlier this month. 57-year-old David Wayne Crouppen died due to multiple blunt force injuries and his death was ruled a suicide. Crouppen was killed just before 6.30 p.m. on July 7th at the intersection of Soledad and Golden Oak Road. The commuter train heading out of Santa Clarita toward Antelope Valley held 124 passengers, none of whom were injured. Representative Steve Knight introduced legislation on Wednesday which would designate nearly 70,000 acres as wilderness and declare the St. Francis Dam a national monument. H.R. 3153 or the St. Francis Dam Disaster Memorial and Castaic Wilderness Act would put approximately 69,812 acres above Castaic Lake into the National Wilderness Preservation System. The move would make hiking, biking, and horseback riding allowed, but keep homes, commercial enterprises, roads, and motorized vehicles out. The bill would also designate 440 acres to a monument for the St. Francis Dam. Over 130 athletes poured into the Masters College Recital Hall on Wednesday morning to kick off the 2015 Special Olympics World Games. Athletes hailed from places like Africa, Central America, Northern Europe, Asia, and right here in Santa Clarita. They had the opportunity to meet with athletes from the Masters College and do a workout before heading over to Six Flags Magic Mountain for lunch. You can meet all the athletes tomorrow at the Westfield Valencia Town Center at 2 p.m. where they will parade through the mall led by a drum line. For more information on the World Games, you could log on to la2015.org. Now turning to weather, cloudy skies and humidity hung over Santa Clarita on Wednesday. Highs were in the 80s and are going to slowly drift back up to the low 90s on Friday. Overnight lows are expected to stay in the upper 50s to low 60s. Now we have Stephen K. Peoples with our entertainment report. Thanks, George. On Friday night, the L.A. Summerfest at Rivendale on the Old Road presents Broadway Rocks. More than a dozen of your favorite local singers are going to perform tunes from stage productions and movies like All Shook Up, Footloose, Rent, Rock of Ages, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Tommy, plus Queen's immortal We Will Rock You. General admission is just $15, and students and seniors get in for just $12. VIPs are $30. The show's a benefit for the Santa Clarita Shakespeare Festival's Summer Apprentice Program and student scholarships. So you get to see a cool show and support local talent at the same time. Get your tickets at broadwayrocks.eventbrite.com. Also on Friday night, the Tony Gala Band rocks the Valencia Jazz and Blues stage right on the street outside the Hyatt Regency off McBean Parkway. Gala is a veteran blues and rock singer, songwriter, guitarist, a Jimi Hendrix protege, no less. He's a regular on the blues and Italian festival circuits. Showtime for, to Showtime for Tony Gala is 7 p.m. and admission is free. Now, last Saturday night's concert in the park was rained out, but headliner Marie Wise Hawkins and her band have been rescheduled for August 15th, that's Saturday, at 6 p.m. The three local country showdown finalists who were supposed to open Marie, Kylie Mack, Suzanne Harper, and Jarrett James, are going to open this Saturday night for the Petty Breakers, the Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers tribute band. Country showdown judges are going to pick one of the three finalists to go on to the next round of national competition, at Knott's Berry Farm on August 8th. Showtime at Central Park is 6 p.m. Saturday, and it's free for all ages. And you'll find lots more local entertainment news 24-7 at hometownstation.com, scvnews.com, and my blog, stephenkpeoples.com. That's what's bumping on the SCV Entertainment Beat. Back to you, George. Thanks, Stephen. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com Thanks for watching, I'm George Cummings.